culture, what you believe, what you value, how you live, matters. Now, as fundamental as these principles are, they may become topics of democratic debate from time to time. So it is today with the enduring institution of marriage. Marriage is a relationship between one man and one woman. The protection of religious freedom has also become a matter of debate. It strikes me as odd that the free exercise of religious faith is sometimes treated as a problem, something America is stuck with instead of being blessed with. Perhaps religious conscience upsets the designs of those who feel that the highest wisdom and authority comes from government. But from the beginning, this nation has trusted in God, not man. <laughs> Religious liberty is the first freedom in our Constitution. And whether the cause is justice for the persecuted, compassion for the needy and the sick, or mercy for the child waiting to be born, there is no greater force for good in the nation than Christian conscience in action. <laughs> Religious freedom opens a door for Americans that is closed to many others around the world. But whether we walk through that door and what we do with our lives after we do is up to us. Someone once observed that the great drama of Christianity is not a crowd shot following the movements of collectives or even nations. The drama is always personal, individual, unfolding in one's own life. We're not alone in sensing this. Men and women of every faith and good people with none at all sincerely strive to do right and lead a purpose-driven life. And in the way of lessons learned by hitting the mark and by falling short, I can tell you this much for sure. All that you have heard here at Liberty University about trusting in God and in His purpose for each of us makes for more than a good sermon. It makes for a good life. So many things compete for our attention and devotion. That doesn't stop as you get older, by the way. We're all prone at various times to treat the trivial things as all important. The all important things is trivial. And little by little, lose sight of the one thing that endures forever. No person I've met, not even the most righteous or pure of heart, has gone without those times when faith recedes in the busyness of life. It's normal and sometimes even the smallest glimpses of the Lord's work in our lives can reawaken our hearts. They bring us back to ourselves and better still, to something far greater than ourselves. What we have, what we wish we had, ambitions fulfilled, Ambitions disappointed. Investments won, investments lost. Elections won, elections lost. These things may occupy our attention, but they do not define us. Each of them is subject to the vagaries and the serendipities of life. Our relationship with our Maker, however, depends on none of that. It's entirely in our control. For He is always at the door and knocks for us. Our worldly success cannot be guaranteed, but our ability to achieve spiritual success is entirely up to us, thanks to the grace of God.